As baby boomers grow older, many parts of their bodies inevitably wear out, including joints like the hip and knee. More than half a million Americans will undergo surgery this year for total knee replacements. While most of them will get their new knees off the shelf, new technology now offers the option of replacement joints customized to the patient's body, making the entire process much more bearable. Beverly Patterson remembers a time just a few months ago when simply walking down a hallway was an ordeal. I was having a lot of pain. Uh, I couldn't walk very far at all. Had to stop and rest. Um, taking pain pills. I, uh, if I would sit for 10 or 15 minutes, when I stood up, I'd have to stand for a while before I could walk. Those suffering from osteoarthritis can sympathize with Beverly's pain. The degenerative joint disease is characterized by the breakdown and loss of cartilage that serves as a cushion between bones. As the pain gets worse, many patients will have to undergo total knee replacement surgery. More than 600,000 Americans had knee replacements in 2010, and the numbers keep rising. The overweight epidemic in the United States unquestionably has added to the tendency for people to wear out their knees and, and need knee replacements. Uh, people are living longer, they're more active, and as a result, they're more likely to wear their knees out. Dr. Charles Bryant is an orthopedic surgeon at Integris Orthopedic Central in Oklahoma City. Bryant says the conventional approach to knee replacements involves removing the diseased parts of the bone, then inserting an implant that's approximately the same size and shape as the patient's own knee. Any other knee that's being used today, even, my, even though it might be considered patient-specific uh, in terms of the way they put it in, or it might be done by a robot, in the end, you're taking a, a device off the shelf and matching it to that patient. That can result in misalignments or imbalances, which often force the patient to undergo additional surgeries. But a new approach to knee replacements uses 3D printing technology to create an implant that is customized to the patient's body size and shape. The procedure involves scanning the patient's knee, then sending that information to Boston-based Conformis, which can take precise measurements of the joint. They literally take a CT scan, they run it through an algorithm, a program, they custom plan a device, and then using 3D printing and other techniques, they actually make a device that fits each exact patient. The printed materials, which are matched to the exact proportions of the patient's knee, are then sent back to the surgeon for implant. Bryant says the advantage of the printed knee replacement is that it's specifically designed to fit the patient. By reproducing the shape that that patient had before all their, all their arthritis developed, it gives them more of a natural feel. Many patients report less pain with the new procedure and a faster recovery time. Beverly underwent surgery for her right knee last summer. I had it six months ago and uh, I went back to work in just under three weeks and uh, no assistance after about 10 days. I put the walker away and walked on my own. And it's safe to say she's happy with the results. It's improved my quality of life more than 50%. It has really uh, made walking upstairs, stepping on and off a curb, um, walking longer distances, things that I just couldn't do before, I'm able to do now and I don't even think about it. About 50,000 procedures involving the new 3D process have been done in the United States thus far. While individual results will vary, Dr. Bryant expects the new custom fitted knees will last the average patient anywhere from 20 to 30 years.